I'm not your enemy, I'm your best friend Rival on the streets, but together in the pen Let's set trends where you can count me in Let's get money like an ATM Different sides, but the same intentions If you kill me, we can't complete our mission I got a whole lot of game if you stop and listen Some opportunities to proposition While you wake up with hate on your mind When there's a pretty young thing that's fine as wine Be productive, help your kind don't be ignorant and lose more time. We want them to heal themselves, right? They're not able to do that. You know, especially when we're talking about our young males, they are, uh, 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 they have, they account for a disproportionate amount of violence in our communities. And the way we reduce that is, you know, we're talking about youth employment, you know, mentorships, training, educational support, behavioral interventions, some of the things we're, we're trying to provide. We got to reduce substance abuse. See, God is the answer for all of this. A lot of the stuff, right? Because I abuse substance, but when I got saved, God delivered me from it. Yeah. That's why we don't condone. I don't condone smoking marijuana or anything. All of that is sin and evil and wickedness. When you look at research that is done, the mass majority of people that committed violent acts, they were high on something. Yeah, under the, under the influence of a substance. That's right, under the influence of a substance, right? And so we also have to mitigate financial stress, right? In our community, that's what I'm talking about with the poverty that we were dealing with. Uh, 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 and we're not talking about just short-term assistance, right? But we, we're talking about really getting in there and 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 uh, people that are experiencing negative, negative income shocks are less inclined to behave violently when they receive timely financial assistance. So that's one of the things we're trying to do, right? Reduce the harmful effects of the justice system. That has helped hurt us too. Research suggests that community safety is supported when a justice system operate with transparency, openness, and consistency, and trust. Otherwise, community is not going to trust you. And then uh, uh, the other sort is confront the gun problem, right? We have a serious gun problem. Violence has been reduced by policy mechanisms that limit access to guns. And right now, we have a problem with these ghost guns. These guns, ghost guns are those guns that they put together themselves, where, 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 they, where it shows them how to do it themselves. Oh, yeah. And you can't even trace these things. And I was told that for every legally manufactured gun, you find these illegal manufactured guns in our communities now. We got to, we got to get, we got to address those issues, my brothers and sisters. I'm talking about a remedy to a deadly, for a deadly pandemic. That's true. Hallelujah. To address the whole man. Look at this. The national homicide rate is about five per 100,000. That's the national. The national, uh, uh, for the rate of young black men in the deadliest neighborhoods can reach 500 per 100,000. Whoa. You're talking about from the national five per 100,000 on the national homicide rate, but for blacks in the deadliest communities, 500 per 100,000, right? Even within the, this high-risk demographic gun violence, it's further concentrated among a very few people. Nationally, 76% of all homicide victims were killed with a gun. And this is a society that's crazed with guns. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'm out of here.